Peace. It's Equality Fragrances coming to you from PG County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference. The understanding of my cipher is peace. For all those returning to my channel, I humbly appreciate your support. For all those new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, um, share the video, leave a message. I try to respond back to all my messages. Welcome. I'm glad you decided to stop by and spend some time with me today. With that being said, sit down, let's be. So for anybody who's been watching me for a while, you already know, my favorite type of fragrance is Gourmand Fragrances. I have too many within my collection currently. I don't know, can you have too many? Probably not. But anyway, today I'm gonna be giving you my top 10 niche Gourmand Fragrances within my collection. I could have did probably a 20, 30 but that would have been too long and i'm also going to do a follow-up of this video with a top 10 um designer gourmand fragrances within my collection um winter 2019 2020. anyway before we start this list i'm gonna give you two honorable mentions coming in at number one for my first honorable mention comes from the house of montal and this is montal's vanilla cake what you get here is milk almond caramel um madagascar vanilla and meringue this smells like what the name is vanilla cake what i will say is like with some montals the opening you gotta let it go the opening mm, is a little metallic that's how montals opening is don't smell it right away let it settle, let it set down at about the 10 minute mark. 10 minute, 15 minute mark is where this beauty comes in and it smooths out to a nice vanilla cake. As with all Montals, you're gonna get performance and projection. First honorable mention, vanilla cake by Montal. My last honorable mention comes from the house of Mansur. And this is Mansur's Wild Candy. Mm. What you get here is citruses, dark chocolate, you're gonna get florals in the mid with some rose, and in the base you're gonna get it smoothed out, sandalwood, guyac wood, vanilla, white musk, and salt. So you get sal salty chocolate fruits is what you get with this. Man, Siage performance projection is a monster with this. Do not go silly on the trigger. You will fill up a room with this. You spray this in a room, it's going to linger. This is beastly. Mm. Last honorable mention from Mancera. Wow, came. Now, we can start the show. Coming in at number 10 is from the House of Alexandria. And this is their original creation. And this is cacao dreams you have cacao vanilla caramel sweet notes mm. how i would describe this is a tootsie roll you want to smell like a tootsie roll this is it you get good projection good longevity and good siage it's not necessarily going to fill up a room but if somebody smell it and you walk by somebody they're going to smell it this is perfect for date nights cuddle scent Playful scent, bear scent. This is this is a good one here. Coming in at number ten, the cow dream. Coming in at number nine is from the house of Montal. And you have chocolate, greedy. This you will get notes of coffee, cacao, vanilla, dried fruits, bit of orange, and tonka beans. I wish this had more chocolate to it. You're gonna get hit with a good dose of chocolate in the beginning, but it really dries down to a nice vanilla tonka bean scent. The chocolate's gonna disappear at about hour number one, and it's gonna turn down to a tonka bean vanilla scent. Nonetheless, it is delicious. And with all Montals and Manceras, projection, performance, siage. You will smell absolutely delicious with this. Mm. Number nine, chocolate greedy. 
Coming in at number eight comes from the house of Mansara, and that is Choco Violet. This right here, and you already know from the house, performance, projection, siage is there. To me, it's more wearable than chocolate greedy, and you get orange at the top with bergamot, hazelnut, the hazelnut stays. You get a good dose of dark chocolate on top of a really good dose of violet, followed by um, Madagascar vanilla and musk. The chocolate in this smells like when you zip open those chocolate puddings. Chocolate pudding, that's what it smells like. Chocolatey or like the chocolate out of a protein shake before you drink it. Nice, good, sweet chocolate in it lasts. Unlike Chocolate Greedy that goes a little bit more Tonka Vanilla to me, this one stays chocolate. Coming in at number eight, Choco Violet. Coming in at number seven, also from the House of Mansara, you have Vanilla Exclusive. This right here, Osmantis Peach Brown Sugar Whipped Cream, Florals in the middle, some of the florals are tuberose and violet, and then you have vanilla, amber, musk, and woody notes. This is a beautiful scent. Consider oriental floral, but think of peachy vanilla with florals. Yeah, yeah. A gorgeous vanilla. I love it, it's smooth. You're gonna get longevity, not necessarily one that's gonna fill up a room, but as far as longevity and people come close to you and you know, bring you in and see y'all, you're going to get, do not go ridiculous with Mansara and Montal fragrances when you spray them on, they will last 10 plus hours. Number seven, Vanilla, exclusive. Coming in at number six, comes from the house of Zhirzhov, and this is Naxos. To me, what you get is honey, tobacco, tonka, vanilla, cinnamon but personally on my skin I get more honey and tonka that's on me the honey and tonka is more prominent and then the tobacco comes in with the vanilla that's sweetening out but this is sweet this is beautiful a 10 out of 10 easy fragrance to me gorgeous it is a must have yeah Number six, Zhirzhov, Naxos. Okay, things are about to get real tricky. Number five through one can be interchanged at any given time, depending on my mood and how I feel like it. Um, this list, again, has been one of the hardest lists I ever had to come up with. It took me too long and it's changed 20 times already. But number five, is from the house of Alexandria, and that is Dark Knight. Mm, rum, sugar, coffee, dark chocolate, caramel, almond, heliotrope, sandalwood. Man. Listen. This is only not a 10 out of 10. is because it's inspired interpretation. But this is a 9.5 easy. Yeah, number five for today <laughs> is Alexander Fragrances, Dark Knight. Coming in at number four is one of my masterpieces. This comes from the house of Connor Barcelona, and that is Elborn. What you get here is vanilla, Peru balsam, sandalwood, heliotrope, benzoin. Um, you get fig, you get some citruses up top, and you get honey. This is a boozy vanilla. Man, you already know. A 10 out of 10, easy. Man, number four. Arcana Barcelona, Elborn. Coming in at number three. Man. Comes from the house of Byron Parfums. And this is Moolah. Moolah. 
mm, peachy caramel with spicy saffron, pink pepper, vanilla, Peru balsam, benzoin, some patchouli, and some oud supposed to be in here. I don't get the oud that much, but man, 10 out of 10, easy. This is a beauty. Mm. Number three from Bond Parfums, Moolah. Moolah. Coming in at number two comes from the house of Alexandra Fragrances. And this is Italian Caramel. This is milk, almond, saffron at the top with vanilla, toffee, sandalwood, cedarwood, and musk. This is inspired interpretation of George Off Italica, which is extremely hard to find. This only reason why it's not a 10 for 10, because it's inspired interpretation. This is a 9.5 easy. What does it smell like? Freshly baked sugar cookies. Actually, with everything I, I showed you, you're gonna get good longevity, good performance, performance, good sillage. Some will fill up a room more than others, but this is a nice cozy scent. <sighs> Date night. This is, when you want to smell succulent, this is what you put on. Got to be more careful. Mm. Number two, Italian caramel. Coming in at number one. Comes from the house of Nishane. And this is Arnie. This is a beautiful vanilla. I call this AKA Reverse Aventus. Some say they get Cedrop Boy Say with the vanilla turned up. You're gonna get notes of bergamot, ginger, pink pepper, um, cardamom, rose, black currant, um, cedarwood, sandalwood, musk, vanilla, benzoin, ambergris. Almost pretty much to a certain degree minus the pineapple the same similar notes that you're going to get with Aventus which is besides the fact that it smells like a reverse Aventus with the vanilla heightened on steroids this is mm, longevity sea arch people will notice you wearing this man number one Nishani Arnie so that is my top 10 gourmands within my collection 2019 this was probably one of the hardest videos i had to do it changed several times and even sitting here thinking about it as i record this video i have probably over 20 that i could have substituted any of these in and out with that i just couldn't put on the list the video would have been too long anyway what are your top 10 gourmands within your collection do you like gourmands do you have any of these fragrances i named off I don't know. Let's talk about it. Leave a comment under the video. Let's discuss. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I drop some new videos. Now, the viewer's choice. Out of these 10, which one do you want me to do a full review on? Leave a comment. And that'll be the next viewer's choice video I do a full review on. Now I'm going to leave you the way I greeted you, and that's in universal language. Peace.